Hi friends, uh, I am Ajay Jyoti. Uh, we are conducting the experiment on this setup. The title is uh, to determine the natural frequency of the damp vibration of single degree of freedom system and find its damping coefficient. Generally, while uh, studying the various vibration systems, we require the various conditions under which the machine is to be designed or manufactured. So for that, this damping coefficient is required for that machine, for that system. Now in this setup, uh, we have various, various uh, components. First is the oil the sum from which the oil is transferred from this to the drum here. Inside this drum, there is a disc and drum which is here, and which is solid. And this is the pen stylus from which we can uh, draw the graph or find out the sinusoidal waves of the uh, motion of this drum. And this is the outlet where we can measure the uh, oil level of the uh, dampers. So this is the single degrees of free vibration system. Uh, we are initially giving the displacement to the drum and leave it. So the graph is plotted on this paper with the help of this stylus. Like this. As this stylus is goes down, the graph will be drawn on this and we will get the displacement on this graph. So there are three conditions initially. Uh, there is no eye in the sum. We have to draw the graph for that. Find out the displacement. And this displacement was mentioned in the observation table. Uh, x1, x2 and x3. From, from this, this is x1. This is x2 and this is x3. So this is mentioned on the observation table. We have to mention on the observation table. Second condition is that, uh, open the knob, fill the outer cylinder with the oil and measure the level here, that is 1 centimeter. Then close the room, close the knob. Again, repeat the same procedure by rotating the disc and we are getting the uh, graph on this paper. While rotating the disc, we, have to know, we know the, the angle measurement measurer is here. So just rotate the disc through 30 degrees only. And then leave it so that the free vibrations are there. Again, in the third case, we have to increase the level of the oil. Initially, it was uh, 1 centimeter, and then we have to take it up to, up to 2 centimeters. So again, re repeat the procedure and find out the third graph by rotating this drum through 30 degrees and leave it. We will get the uh, graph by with the help of these tiles. Three. Here, the three graphs were plotted. First graph is for no damping conditions. We have to measure the time required for the particular number of you know, oscillations. And that time we have to note down in the observation table. Similarly, in the second also, this is the damping condition with uh, 2 centimeter level. Here also we have to find out the number of oscillations and time for that. Total number of oscillations for, let us Take five, seven, 5 oscillations. For 5 oscillations, how much the time we have to find out? We have to find out that. In third one, the level of the oil is 3 centimeter and the oscillations are like this. So, the time required for this is to come to rest, the, the system come to rest is less. Here, the time required is somewhat more than that. And here, the time for the system to come to rest is more than all. These, these two conditions. The specifications are given for the setup. The radius of the drum or disc is R. Mass of disc is M, small m. Force applied on the disc is F. That is generally we have taken as 9.8 per 1 kg. Uh, angle of twist is 30 degrees in case of our setup. Observations are, we have to measure, uh, note down the observations. Depth of the inversion is first case is no damping. For that, the, if we consider the number of oscillations are 5, uh, note down the time for that. 
Then the displacement which are measured on the graph x1, x2 and x3 on one side of the mean position. Second is the where the oil level is 1 cm or 1.5 cm depending on the level. For 5 number of oscillations or 2 number of oscillations, what is the time? That we have to find. And for the, from the graph, we can, we can note down the uh, displacements x1, x2 and x3 from the graph. Third one, for oil level of uh, 2 cm or 2.5 cm, number of oscillations are 2 or 3. What is the time required? That we have to calculate. Then the displacement uh, we can take from the graph x1, x2 and x3. Thank you. Calculations for this is, so we can find out, find out the natural frequency of vibration by this equation experimentally and by this equation and theoretically. For experimentally, from the observation table, we get the values of uh, time rate t. t can be calculated by the time t and number of oscillations. And theoretical frequency, uh, natural frequency of vibration, we can calculate by this equation kt upon i, where kt is m into t into theta, where theta is uh, 30 degrees into pi by 1 into and mt is the force of light and the perpendicular distance of the radius of the disk, so it is 9.81 into bar. Uh, mass moment of inertia is we can calculate by the m k square, where k square is r square by 2, it is in kg meter square, and damping coefficient we can calculate by these equations, ct. Uh, first, the delta logarithmic decrement we can calculate by the displacements which are given in the observation tables x1, x2, or x2, x2 you can take. x1 divided by x2. We we'll get delta from that, and from that we can find out the value of zeta, damping ratio. Zeta is equal to delta upon 2 by. So, again, the value of zeta is equal to ct upon ct. For ct, ct we can calculate the ct by. Uh, then the coefficient is equal to 2 into under root of kt into i, which, are, which we have calculated here. And ct is zeta upon ccc. So, ccc we can calculate from this and zeta we get from this equation, zeta. So, we can calculate the value of ct. And then, uh, natural frequency of damped vibration we can calculate by this equation. Omega d is the natural frequency of damped vibration. And that is equal to omega e under root of 1 minus zeta square radius per second. From this, we will get the value of our damp natural frequency of the system as well as the logarithm damping coefficient.